Hello, my name's Lucy um, and today I'm going to be making salmon sashimi with avocado which is something I like to do um, after I've been shopping. The salmon has to be very very fresh so I always do it the same day as I've actually been to the supermarket um, and it's a relatively easy thing to do but I really like the taste. Uh, so and um, less relevant here because with sashimi the point is you don't cook the salmon so there's no actual uh, actual waiting around in this one but what I what I do is um, I cook with no cuts so you can see exactly how long something takes to prepare as you watch along so um, and I don't um, get anything ready to start off with so uh, going and getting all of the all of the uh, ingredients and all of the cooking implements that I need out I consider that to be part of the cooking part of the time that is taken up when I'm cooking uh, and so I include that in the video uh, so and but partly I do with no edits because um, I'm quite enjoying doing this it's nice to chat to people as I'm cooking it's quite good fun uh, having to edit as well that would make it significantly less fun so a um, little bit of laziness right so salmon sashimi so first thing I'm going to do is get a plate and put it in the fridge And I do that um, because uh, basically I try to keep the salmon as cold as possible. Basically I went shopping earlier, I put the salmon in the fridge, the first thing I put in the fridge before I put everything else away. I put everything else, else away, I had to sit down for a bit um, and now, I, now I'm making myself some food. Uh, and uh, yes, with salmon basically uh, you want it to be as as fresh as possible so salmon you've bought the same day or possibly the day before is fine I wouldn't eat raw salmon that was any older than that I'd, I'd cook it instead um, but uh, eating salmon that you've bought the same day um, as long as it hasn't been in a hot car like it's, it's the weather's chilly at the moment and I also only live five minutes from the shops um, so that it doesn't make a difference but um, basically if you're at all sure not sure about um, meat or fish um, cook it thoroughly and or don't eat it um, but like I say with with fresh salmon it's absolutely fine uh, the other thing I'm gonna have is avocados which I have I keep on my windowsill um, to uh, not to basically um, well these are, I bought like I said I bought these today and they're ready ripe avocados so they don't need to ripen anymore and you need to use them quite quickly but don't put I, I don't put them in the fridge um, it basically makes them go hard um, and then the other, only other two things that I need are wasabi and soy sauce. So the wasabi also lives in the fridge and the soy sauce is in this cupboard. And I've got a little ramekin as well to put it in. Right. So we're going to move you down here. I have ordered a tripod which should make things um, a bit easier. So the other things we need, we're going to need a knife and the big knife this time because um, the salmon, you can buy skinless salmon um, but it's harder to find in the, pack, in the sizes that I want and it's more expensive so I've bought salmon skin on so I need to skin it and I'm also going to need kitchen roll because um, skinning salmon is a messy process um, and the skin always has scales on it. Um, and you can descale it by scraping it, but I did that once, it took bloody ages. Um, and it's much easier to just take the skin off, since you're taking the skin off anyway, just take the skin off. Scales and also have, have kitchen roll to wipe the knife on. So first thing to do to prepare, I'm going to fill my bowl with my soy sauce. Um, I have multiple bottles of soy sauce I'm trying to now use up, because um, I had one in the cupboard that I'd forgotten about. Um, and then I've got one that's nearly finished, and then I've got the new bottle. That's a very dark soy sauce. That's still fine. Right, and that one. This one pulls out much more easily. That bottle's empty, these are these gonna go in recycling. It's not quite empty, but it has the um, it has the top that means it doesn't. It's not easy to get out, right? Anyway, they're 
done. And then there's the new bottle. Which I can just pour in. And there we go. And I like, I, I like, I've got a lot of salmon. Um, so I use a decent amount of soy sauce. I'm going to put these to wash before I put them back for recycling. And that's made some space in my cupboard. Now, as I said, I'm having this. It's, it's soy sauce, wasabi, and avocado with the salmon. And I'm going to cut the avocado first because otherwise I'd need to wash the chopping board. Um, but if you do this way around, you don't. And like I say, the plate's in the fridge just to keep everything as cold as possible because um, it, it also it tastes better when the salmon's cold. So, uh, yeah, the, the plate is being cool so that I'll, I'll, I'll basically I'll take it out, I'll chop the avocado, take the plate out, put the avocado on it, put it back in the fridge, do the salmon, and then put the salmon onto the cold plate, and that will just keep everything nice and cold. It's, it's less vital at the moment, because like I say, the weather's, the weather's nice and chilly. Um, but if, if you get a hot summer like you had um, a couple of years ago, then uh, everything heats up very quickly. So this is an avocado. So you cut them in half, you've got the stone. There's a thing you can do, which I can't always get right, where you whack the sto stone really hard and then pull, and that's how you get the stone out. And oh. <sighs> Yeah, I, I find it often just sort of, the knife just gets stuck in the stone and then pulls out the stone rather than the stone coming out of the avocado. But that's the way to get the avocado out and then peel the avocado skin off. These And because these are nice and fresh, um, they haven't got any bruises or black bits on them. And they're nice and soft. If you've got a hard avocado, oh, there's not much you can do about it. And it's very hard to tell when you buy them as well. Usually when you buy the ready white, ripe ones, they're fine, but sometimes they're not and there's not a massive amount you can do about it or yeah and basically i do slices um and then i halve some of the slices and leave otherwise and i um and it's like nice and rough basically um because i like to have a piece of avocado with each piece of salmon and i don't count um how much how much I'm doing. That was quite a small avocado as well. Right, there we go. So that's one avocado done, then you do the second. And yeah, like I say, you can sort of squeeze them as you buy them, but it doesn't, I don't find it tells you very much. Uh, the right ready what ones are usually fine, but sometimes they're not, and there's not much you can do about it. See, I, I, got, I got it nice and deep in there, but it still just didn't come out. So sometimes I just poke the knife into the, the tip of the knife into the slit and try and lever it out that way. There we go. Um, but if they are, yeah, if they are hard, there's not, once you open them up and you find that there's not anything you can do except buy another avocado. And this one's nice and ripe as well. Oops. Uh, I squeeze the stuff that's got stuck under the, uh, under the skin off. Peel this off as well. I like this, uh, things I really love uh, raw salmon. I would eat it a, a lot more than I do, except A, salmon's expensive, and like B, like I said, it needs to be fresh. And at the moment, I'm going to the grocery store as little as possible. Um, but yeah, make your slices. Half some of them. Put them there into a pile, and again. Avocado. That's not actually very much avocado. Um, I think I ended up with very small avocados. I think it's because I was buying four. I'm going to make guacamole at some point as well, so I bought a four avocado. So I bought loose because it was cheaper. Um, but I think that the ones that come in a package are slightly larger. These are supposed to be medium avocados. They feel more small. Right. So that's the avocados done. I'm just going to quickly. This is the other thing because it gets on your hands and you get, uh, need to wipe off the handle of the knife. Um, so I'm going to get out the plate, which is nice and cold, and uh, pop avocado on half of it. Oh, 
Well, that doesn't actually look too bad a mount. It's easy. Because it usually... About hot, taking up half the plate is about the amount that I wanted, so that's fine. And then... The soy sauce can go on the tray. As can the kitchen roll when they used to wipe my hands as I eat. As for... wasabi there is in this tube because it was coming to an end but I do have a new tube so I usually put that on the side squeeze 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 much that tube of wasabi done. And we also want to put the plates back in the fridge, as I said, and get out the salmon. And the amount of salmon I'm having is a slightly ridiculous amount of salmon. It is a boneless half a side of salmon, which is 500 grams, and then an extra fillet of 130 grams. So that's a lot of salmon. Right, I'm going to do the fillet first because it'll be slightly easier to skim. Just the tab and open it up. Um, and the reason I've got the big knife is for skinning that one, um, but I will skin this one with the big knife as well rather than have to wash two knives. And I'm gonna keep that tray for putting the skin in as I'm done. And yeah, the way you skin salmon is you come to the very end of the salmon. How much can you see? The very end of the salmon, and I'm not an expert at this, but I've got I've had a reasonable amount of practice. Um, but I like I have done a cooking school where they told me this is, and then I looked it up again online when I next had to come to do it because I don't have to skin fish very often. Um, but you make a little sort of notch in the salmon where the skin starts and then you hold the salmon flat and you sort of just slide and you, your knife is slanted down slightly like that sort of angle so it's not straight across it's slightly poking downwards and you just essentially just gradually move your knife forward and it helps if you keep your knife really really sharp obviously you should always use a sharp knife if there's a blunt knife you'll just end up hacking at it and there does sort of come a point where you can just sort of start tearing the skin apart. Oh, this is actually quite difficult with a very thin fish. And yeah, just ba just slide backwards and forwards. Uh, I've made a mess of this already. There we go. And now that that's like that, I can just pull. What's pulling? and it get you get scales on your fingers which is also why I want to do that because I, scales aren't nice to eat they're not poisonous or anything they just don't taste good and pull and pull and pull the skin off oops and there's one last bit of salmon that ended up on there so I'll take that chunk off and then again there's a bit of skin there so I'll take that skin off and you do end up with uh, slippery hands, which again is why you want to have the roll to wipe your hands so that when you're holding the knife, the knife handle's not slippy. So that's one piece of salmon, that's a piece of fish that you don't want. That's a scale, that's gross. And scales do, just when you put the skin flat on the board, they um, collect on the board, so again, you scrape the board. You probably shouldn't do this with a sharp knife. Um, but like I say, I sharpen them regularly and just wipe them off. And then just cut this into pieces. Into nice pieces which are going to go in the uh, thing. And yeah, wipe off any scales that have got onto the sides. And, 
Also, when my arm goes up, I'm not scratching my face. I'm wearing glasses, um, but I tend not to. Um, I'm wearing them for this so that I don't bumble around, but I tend not to wear them in the house. I only wear them for driving usually. So when I'm moving my head around a lot, they just sort of start sliding off and I'm pushing them back up. So, salmon. Nice big chunks of salmon. Let's get that off. That one was also a very thin one, so it's come out of slightly odd, odd shapes there. But anyway, that's done. So wipe that off, and those are going to go on the plate out of the way to start off with. And the plate goes back in the fridge once I've done that. Because, as I said, my fingers are obviously all salmony at the moment, so I am going to need to go and wipe the fridge door in a second. Uh, once I'm done, let's see. ow! Oh, I should have put an apron on as well, but I, I forgot because um, I normally think of the apron as the thing that protects me from uh, splash damage from frying. Okay, there we go. And here comes the salmon, and see, that's a, that's a big piece of salmon, and I actually. It is quite hard to deal with something that size, so I will always cut it down the middle, just straight line, just. So then I've got two halves to skin. And again, you just, there, you slice in, next to the skin and just keep moving. Just slide back and forward while pulling downwards lightly. And keep going. Like what happens sometimes is you either slice too slow, too low down, so you go into the skin, or too high up, so you're leaving stuff on the uh, salmon. Like I say, I'm not an expert, and having to do it for an audience is uh, not improving my ability. Ah, dear. That, although that's the worst mess I've ever made. And you see now that's left scales all over the chopping board so again I want to get them out of the way. I'm actually going to cut that end off and start again with this bit. This is not the way to do it, there we go. Getting started is the tricky bit. Like I say, this is why I wanted the big knife, because uh, the small knife is just um, doesn't manage as well with the wider part of the fish. And the salmon, yeah. Um, I had a partner once, um, and we both liked uh, salmon sashimi, and we... Um, whenever we were cooking salmon, we'd get it out and we'd have to buy extra because um, we'd end up eating half of it before it even got into the pan while we were standing around the kitchen. Uh, so now I just sort of cut out the middle man and just make sashimi on my own. And you'll see professional chefs do this and they'll do this at blinding speed and they'll do a whole thing where they can just sort of shake the fish and it just all seems to fall off. That one I actually managed to not even get under the fish, I ended up over the top of the skin. <laughs> oh, this is the most terrible mess I've ever made with this. And you can see I've managed to actually descale the fish by sliding my knife between it and the chopping board. Uh, which doesn't matter, except it was a waste of time and now there's uh, scales everywhere. Which I'm going to have to need to get off the fish. And again, they're not poisonous if you eat them raw, but then they're, they're not a nice texture. Um, I, I find them fine if it's cooked. I don't, I don't mind cooked fish skin. Um, but raw, it's just uh, texturally very unpleasant.
there we go. And uh, there we go. Ah. Because I messed it up once, obviously, I just keep messing it up. There we go. Right, so all the fish is off. Uh, all the skin's off. You can see this, there's the darker part of the fish, that's not as nice either. Um, so you can, like, you don't have to skin it as finely, because uh, you, if you take some of that stuff off with the skin, that's not a problem. But yeah, then just... Well, first, we're going to remove the scales from the chopping board again. And this, this is so slimy, the amount that I'm wiping off onto this thing, my um, kitchen, t my one piece of kitchen towel is already soaked. sometimes do, I'm not going to do it today because um, I've got other stuff in the sink as well, um, is after I've made, after I've chopped all the salmon I put it back in the fridge and I wash and wipe everything down before I eat. Um, and I'm probably going to wipe the side down and do the knives but I'm not going to do the chopping board. Come off, come off, come off. And then, this is where I laid it out first but I just always end up needing more than I think because I always need to wipe it off my hands. And the blade of the knife and the fish. So check the fish for scales. And no matter how hard you try, there will always be more scales. I'm also I'm the person who always gets the fish bones. Well, like this is boneless salmon, um, and I haven't found any bones in it yet. But I won't be surprised if I ever do, because I once had a meal um, with. I think it, oh, I can't remember what it was, it was uh, not sardine, the other small one that I'm thinking, sardines are smaller than I'm thinking of, it's, um, might have been herring, but basically, or kipper, but basically, um, like, it was left, it was, it was a normal kind, so it, it still had the bones in, so there was expecting to be bones, but, uh, like, it had been served up and everybody's like, oh, we pick, pick your bones out, put them on the side of the plate, and I had... <laughs> about four times as many bones, everybody else had, I found like four or five, and I found about twenty. Just, um, I just have, yes, I just attract fish bones. So, again, cut into small pieces. And this already feels, because I've been handling it, because my hands are warm, this already feels warmer to the touch. So now I do slices, slices, sort some of them in half, slices. I, I like them being different sizes. Um, and when I eat them, basically, I uh, wipe some wasabi on and then dip in the soy sauce for each mouthful with a piece of avocado with each piece of salmon. So this is over half a kilo of salmon. It's a ridiculous amount of salmon. There we go. Back in the fridge. And the last piece, let's see if I can do this more neatly. Uh, that'd be a chance to be a fine thing, but uh, there we go. Right. Down and across. Astoundingly, I'm far more successful when I'm not trying to talk at the same time. much better and you can see that makes much less of a mess of scales still some but not really so much if you don't fuck it up <laughs> as you're doing it right so wipe off right. 
wipe off. There's a bit of there, right, and then Slice. Oh, I'm hungry. I'm looking forward to this. Just keep slicing. Right, that's all of it. Right, so for the last time. And because I've been handling raw meat, I am going to need to wash my hands, although since I'm now going to eat the raw meat, there's uh, less of a need for it, but I don't want it all over, all over uh, my kitchen. So back in, back in the fridge, ready to eat in a second. So. Because I think, as I've said, um, if you leave them uh, on the side of the dry rack, they can rub against things and get blunted. And I do have a sharpener, but it's uh, better to know how sharp your knives are. And I may also sharpen that one again because I had so much trouble. Um, and I think it's partly because I was distracted. But uh, dry it and put it in the thing and then this can all go in the bin these need to be swirled so we put out for recycling and this is going to be washed as well my wipe and I'll wipe down the door handle of the fridge from where I got my slightly fishy hands on it and I always I try to always have enough kitchen roll so that it doesn't get sticky and it never manages so there and then wash this And then wipe down this side. Wipe, wipe, wipe. So the only clean that needs to be done now is the chopping board needs washing up and put it in the sink to soak. And then once I've eaten, there's a fork, a ramekin and a plate to wash up. So it's a nice, um, it's tasty, it's expensive, but it's uh, also, it's low effort to make once you've got the hang of skinning fish and it's uh, easy to clear up from as well. So that's done. So the only other thing is to grab my juice out of the fridge as well. well I've got some fresh pineapple juice. Plates. And there we go. Salmon sashimi. So basically salmon, avocado, wasabi, soy dipping sauce. That's half a kilo of 
of salmon and I'm really going to enjoy it. So uh, it's been lovely chatting with you all. Bon appetit. So the salmon avocado a soy sauce with wasabi was as always absolutely delicious. It was very very filling because of the sheer amount of salmon uh, but yes I just don't get bored of it. Could eat it all afternoon just a little bit of wasabi on the salmon dip the salmon in soy sauce, pick up a piece of avocado as well, eat it all in one mouthful. Yum. So, uh, really, really delicious. Uh, and now I'm looking forward to whatever I'm going to make tomorrow. Bye-bye.